Hi everyone and welcome to the 2020 Virtual Rutgers Field Day. My name is College Nova and I'm a graduate student here at Rutgers University, as well as helping Dr. Bruce Clark manage the fungicide FCC program. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the control of brown patch using different synthetic and biorational products. The objective of this study is to control brown patch on a preventative basis. This research was performed on an 11 year old stand of Alistair Colonial Bentgrass and this field is mowed at three eighths of an inch, three times per week. We irrigate at night, replacing 100% ET and increase the nitrogen fertility throughout the growing season to promote brown patch. We use three foot by five foot plots and have four replications of each treatment. Fungicides were first applied um, on June 2nd and they went through August 11th. We spray our treatments in two gallons of water per thousand square foot using an air induction nozzle 9503E um, and that is sprayed at 40 PSI. This year was an incredibly severe year for a brown patch due to the hot humid weather in June, July and August. We first saw brown patch on June 30th and it increased quickly to 90% turf area infested on the untreated control on July 20th. The products I'll be mentioning with you were standouts throughout the entire growing season and these products had less than 10% brown patch infection per plot. I will first start off by mentioning the results of single AI products working in this trial and then we'll talk about the combination and premix fungicides. So for the single AI products, we'll start with the QOIs, the strobulurins, and that being treatment 50 insignia brachlostrobin applied at 0.55 fluid ounces um, every 21 days. And then we will then move to treatment 51, which is the same product, insignia, but at a higher rate of 0.7 fluid ounces every 28 days with exceptional control. Next is Azoxy Select applied um, at 0.33 fluid ounces every 14 days. And that is Azoxystrobin. And we did see excellent control with this product as well. The next class of fungicides is in the single AIs is the DMIs. We'll take a quick walk up to the plots. But once we get to, before we get to those plots, I just want to show you the untreated track treatment 65. Just beautiful brown patch disease within this plot. Like I said, the, another standout in the DMIs was Mirage Stress Guard, Tebuconazole, applied at one fluid ounce every 14 days. And now we'll move to the combination products that stood out in this trial. Um, first class being the DMIs plus QOIs. Um, first product is Oximus. Oximus is Tebuconazole plus Azoxystrobin. Treatment 41 was the low rate, 0.8 fluid ounces. This was applied every 21 days. Treatment 42, um, the middle rate, one fluid ounce per thousand square foot, applied every 21 days, excellent control. And treatment 43, the high label rate of Oximus, 1.6 fluid ounces every 21 days. Beautiful, clean plot. The next combo product, uh, the DMIs plus SDHIs is um, Tekken. Tekken was applied at three fluid ounces every 21 days. And Tekken is Tebuconazole and Isofetamid, which is Kabuto. Um, the next combo product would be the biologicals plus the QOIs is Zeo. Uh, which is a Pseudomonas species plus heritage, is oxystrobin, applied um, every 14 days, providing excellent control. And then lastly, the dioxamid plus QOIs is interface stress guard at four fluid ounces, um, applied every 14 days. 
providing excellent control throughout the growing season. So these are the results of the study. Thank you very much for listening, and we look forward to sharing more videos uh, with you. Have a great day.